What uh, John Supavich and I decided to do was to ask AERA, look, here's a wonderful opportunity before the Common Core is rolled out to bring together a group of scholars in very different areas of education research. Some look at politics, uh, some uh, focus on equity at the school or classroom level, some focus on policy implementation, and to sit down and say, what have we learned, what do we know, and to begin to craft our sketch, if you will, a research agenda that uh, will uh, build on rather than simply um, repeat the same lessons from past uh, research. So in other words, a, a, a real attempt to identify the key lessons, identify the key ideas, and then to say, well, if we know this, then here are some potential fruitful lines of inquiry uh, that we, uh, not just the people at the conference, but we as an education research community, might engage in as uh, the Common Core uh, rolls out. But I've done work on standards-based reform starting in the um, 1990s, um, in particular the late 90s, before NCLB, uh, we examined uh, the implementation of state standards, um, high-stakes accountability in Michigan and other states, and also uh, efforts at the local school district level to implement standards. Um, and that work uh, points to the importance of uh, how locals, school leaders, district leaders, teachers make sense of, come to understand what the standards mean uh, for teaching in general, but for their own teaching in particular. We've been at this for 25 years. We've learned something about uh, how to improve standards, how to align uh, assessments. And uh, we've also, I think, learned that standards and assessment uh, in and of themselves are, though they may be necessary, they're insufficient. So there's a huge divide between the policymakers' ideals and the reality of teaching uh, in most, uh, I would say, in a, in a majority of classrooms and a majority of schools. And that's why we need to think about infrastructure. That's why we need to think about capacity building. Um, and whether you take a professionalism approach or, or a, a government standards approach, the challenge is really uh, pretty similar. Over the past number of years, we've also seen an increase in research that attempts to understand what, not just whether policy works or not, but actually what happens in the black box between uh, a policy is implemented and uh, improvement or no improvement in student achievement. For future generations of designing policy, we want to understand what actually happens when we have high stakes accountability, when we have more ambitious standards. Uh, what is it about the policy design? What is it about the state or local district context that enables or frustrates uh, improvement? You know, very often in education research, um, we, uh, something comes down the pike, a new policy, and we start from scratch. We fail to recognize that we've been doing work on policies like this uh, for 20, 25 years now. Uh, granted, the Common Core has its own particular features, but the basic design principles of the policy, I think, are pretty similar. And this time around, uh, let's be clear about what we know, let's be clear about what we think is important to, given what we already know, what we might learn from this round, so that we can uh, improve policy design, policy implementation, uh, when we go back to do this again in about five or ten years, which tends to be the cycle.